What's going on, Notre Dame fans? Mike Singer here from blueandgold.com with the top 10 plays of Notre Dame spring ball. A couple of notes before we get into it. Notre Dame would only send three minutes of practice clips to the media from each practice, so we don't have um, all of uh, practices to go off of. Just those three minutes and what was put on social media from the Notre Dame football account and the players, and this list is just my opinion, what I'm putting together. Before we dive into it, of course, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. If you're not signed up to our newsletter to get breaking news, email alerts, and daily headlines in your email inbox, make sure you hit the link in the description box to do that. It is 100% free. Number 10 here is a pass from Tyler Buckner and a beautiful snag there by Mitchell Evans. This one might have been even higher if we had a little bit better camera work here. Uh, so we're going to slow down each play after watching it in its full speed. And you see that snag right there by true freshman tight end Mitchell Evans with Litchfield as Javon in coverage, a throw where only his man could catch it, and that's a nice snag by Mitchell Evans. This next one is another play from Tyler Buckner. He is going to look downfield, a couple reads, doesn't see anything he likes. Now, this one made the top 10 list really out of just excitement from Tyler Buckner. Like, I remember seeing this play, um, and again, these clips of Notre Dame since the meeting, I was like, oh, the, the, the fans are going to love that one. Gets out of the pocket, uh, Runs by Ramon Henderson with a little cut there and then picks up a really nice gain. And I remember Brian Kelly talking about this play specifically um, and being this practice and, and being impressed uh, by Tyler Buckner. Number eight here is a beautiful pitch and catch uh, from Drew Pine to Lawrence Keys. Honestly, guys, as I'm watching this back, this one maybe should have been in the top five with uh, just a, a great throw um, by Drew Pine where only his receiver can catch it um, and just a heck of a snag by Lawrence Keyes getting his foot in bounds and uh, holding onto the ball. The number seven play of spring ball, keep an eye on Maris Lufau, number 35. He is going to blitz in from his linebacker position, runs right by Andrew Gustafic and gets a safety for the Irish defense. You're not going to see a ton of defensive plays on this list because uh, it's just a little bit more um, offensive-centric in, in the clips we get from Notre Dame. But this one definitely stood out. Uh, a great play by Maris Lufau, who overall had a great spring practice. This looks like the same practice. Notre Dame backed up against its own end zone. Drew Pine is going to get the snap here, and he is looking to his right that comes back to his left. Delivers a confident pass to Avery Davis with Houston Griffith in coverage. Loved um, this play number six here in my top ten list. Um, Drew Pine had a, just a really nice um, spring ball in general. And uh, th this is one of his better throws here. Um, fakes the run. Again, looks to his right with Braden Lindsay there. And he's going to deliver. It's, looks like a pickup of about 35 yards. Avery Davis, nice snag. Fine coverage there by Houston Griffith, but an even better catch. Maybe Myron Tonga Valoa Mosa would have gotten a sack there, uh, but hard to tell. Um, so we'll give it to the offense. This next clip here, Matt Salerno with a beautiful catch. Um, it, it, with Tariq Bracey, fine coverage there, a fine throw by Tyler Buckner, uh, but I just really love me some Matt Solorano, and he comes in at number five uh, with this touchdown reception of one-on-ones for the walk-on receiver. Number four, this is an interesting one, guys. You tell me what you think. Here's Drew Pine in seven-on-seven seven. pass to Kane Brong. Is that a touchdown? Is that an interception? Uh, the defense certainly celebrated it like it was an interception. Let's watch it again. Slowed down. There's the completion. Now, when is this a touchdown? He's got a couple feet down, but Tyler, uh, excuse me, Isaiah Pryor is in the process of stealing the ball away. What do you guys think? Leave a comment um, on this video. Personally, I think that's an interception, but let me know what you guys think. Here's number three. We've got Drew Pine back at quarterback, surveying the field, and another strike. And there's that connection again. Drew Pine to Lawrence Keys for a Notre Dame touchdown. Uh, this was in a scrimmage, obviously, inside Notre Dame Stadium. He, uh, After catching that touchdown, he's celebrating uh, with Mitchell Evans, Drew Pine, Braden Lindsey, Tosh Baker, Michael Carmody, even uh, Jordan Johnson, who is transferred from Notre Dame. Here's another look. 
credit to Sebo Flemister with a blitz pickup there. That play doesn't get done without him picking that up. Uh, but again, just a beautiful uh, pitch and catch in stride to Lawrence Keys, uh, Philip Riley, Litchfield, Ashvon, a couple of the Notre Dame defenders nearby. But they had no chance uh, to catch the speedy Lawrence Keys. And again, great throw there by Drew Pine. This one is definitely interesting. Maybe this is just me as a former receiver talking, but... The, the difficulty of this catch by Avery Davis deserved the number two spot. Um, Jack Cohn looking to his left. The pass is high and a little bit behind Avery Davis, but he goes up and makes that snag. DJ Brown, uh, fine coverage, like I said so many times on these uh, where the DBs are at. It's, it's good coverage, but just a better um, play on the ball by Avery Davis. Look how he gets up. Um, that is just a very difficult play. Hangs on to the ball as he goes to the ground too. Before we get to number one, a few honorable mentions. And this first one, Tyler Buckner, a pass down to Xavier Watts in one-on-ones. Again, just another excitement factor with Tyler Buckner. Next play here, going to want you to keep an eye on left guard. Rocco Spindler wearing the jersey number 50. He's first, you see how he's looking to his right there. Um, he's going to keep looking, and then he sees Jordan Patelho and smacks him to the ground. Let's take another look at that one. Look at Rocco Spindler, boom, and shoves Jordan Patelho to the ground for the pancake. Let's give some love to the defense. Here's Ron Paulus at quarterback, throws a ball downfield and an acrobatic pass breakup by Ryan Barnes uh, and this one I really like too I wanted to put this one in the top 10 but I feel like I'd get some outrage which I'm probably going to get anyways watch Chris Tyree put his foot in the ground right there cuts upfield runs right by DJ Brown to me this play just shows how good Chris Tyree is watch again him plant his foot in the ground and Boom, gets upfield. I love that speed by Chris Tyree and his acceleration. And last honorable mention here. This was, I believe, to end this practice in a little scrimmage portion. Jack Cohn, two freshmen, tight end, Kane Barong. Nice snag, celebrating with his offense. A nice moment for Mr. Barong. Number one here, guys. Maybe I'm just mesmerized by this connection between Drew Pine and Lawrence Keyes. But this pass here just kind of wild me um a lot of people talk about drew pines arm strength um but this one didn't seem to take his whole body i mean this is a pass i could see him throw in a game and pinpoint here uh to lawrence keys to get a look at this one more time this throw here um i think this is just big time and i really loved what i saw from drew pine this spring what did you guys think of the top 10 list in honorable mentions? What did I get right? What did I get wrong? Make sure you hit a thumbs up on this video and leave your thoughts in the comment section.